Thank you everyone for tuning in on our first episode with the proper studio. <laughs> yes, sir. We no longer under a tent, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's looking a little bit plain. I'm not going to lie. It's looking a little bit plain, yeah. but it's because we just moved in. We haven't really had time to decorate or nothing. Facts. We'll get to it though. And as we progress and as we have more guests on, somebody somebody actually commented before, yeah. every single guest we have on, they should leave something behind oh. and it adds to the set. Okay, that's I think fire. That, that's a dope. That's fire. Then right? we'll have, by the end of the year, we should have this pack. Yeah, yeah, exactly, the, like, exactly. nostalgia. We have like random shit from each guest. Yeah. It's gonna look sick. And then episode 200, if we have like, imagine 60 guests, we have a 60. That's, no, that's so <laughs> not, no, no. That's too think, much. Do you think that's possible? A 60, 60 man podcast? podcast? That's never done that's before. That's a council. That's never, that's never been done. <laughs> for and you always say break boundaries so you could probably do it fam but it's gonna be hard to hear everyone 60 mics imagine purchasing 60 listen mics. i feel like if there's that much people there's gonna be there has to be a facilitator yeah that's oh us. you know what it's gonna be it's gonna be like um 30 and then 30. Yeah. <laughs> so 30 with me like Yo, you know what 30 you know what has to be it has to be one of those debates where it's like a team yeah. and then we all group together and we're like okay what are we gonna say what are we gonna say next <laughs> and it's our turn and we all talk and we have like it's, it's pretty much a debate yeah like in the cabinet it's just shit. like a law class like you know those yeah. like uh those uh what do you call those those trial runs mm. is that as gonna be that but that's gonna be so shit. Yeah. unless someone sponsors us with all the mics then we'll do it that's true fucking 60 <laughs> mics that's impossible actually yeah. i don't know i'm thinking about it okay speaking of debates yeah before we started the camera gavin i just, let me just say, had a debate right now so, i said i said i would love to be el chapo's son <laughs> that's fuck bro it's not listen listen if you're El Chapo's son, this is my what is this is my understanding of what it's gonna be like. Yeah, you think it's gonna be all fun and games because you have bare people to protect you, right? Yes, and you're living in Lily riches. You're yeah, rolling you're living money. in riches, but because I watch a lot of mafia movies, mm. and sometimes your real danger isn't necessarily the ones outside of your gang, mm. but it's your gang yourself. Nah, they, they wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> Oh, but listen, cause look, look at look at six nine mm. Takashi. What, what's his bounty? Cause I know he has a big bounty on his head right now. Takashi six nine. No 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 no, no no. El Chapo son. I have it's no like idea. it's like four. I think I saw in the thing. That's why they shot up the airplane because they thought he was there. Oh shit! Yeah, you didn't see that nah. when the plane was leaving. Random people are like regular civilians on the airplane. Were like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. And now everybody in Mexico and like who's on a resort. I saw a video where people are chilling on the beach mm -hmm. and all you see black boat, like what do you call those boats that just come in from the ocean? Oh, like the buoys, the buoys. Yeah, like the military buoys are coming out and military people are coming on the, on the resorts. Because because they thought he was they there. They thought he was there. <clears throat> see fam, look, if you, that's El Chapo's son. You said you want to live in that life? <laughs> no, but no. El Chapo's son is chilling even, right now. Even as a joke, you wouldn't really want to live that life. I know, I, I'm, I'm just chilling. Yeah. I, okay, would you rather, would you rather be notorious and have a lot of money or be a nobody and have nothing? What? Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> notorious and have a lot of money? What the fuck? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Or have no money No, 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 no. no. So, so would you rather be infamous? <laughs> yeah. Infamous. <clears throat> wait, that doesn't make sense though. That's you not even a debate. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought it was going somewhere with that shit. Yeah, never mind. No, because I, I just seeing I'm on cartel talk. Yeah. And like just seeing how, how what, much. What the fuck is cartel talk? Is like Nike talk? What is this? Yeah. So cartel talk is like. It's a uh, forum? You see, yeah, no, kind of. Of all the cartel and what they do. Yeah. So it's like um, uh, you see all of them like blocking the roads mm. and shit like that. Just all the information you need to know about the cartel is Loki on TikTok. On but TikTok. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Oh, cartel talk. Yeah, right? cartel talk. Like oh. <laughs> I thought, yo, in my head, uh -huh. talk like T A L K. Oh, like a podcast. That's right? what you I thought. thought I was no, I thought I thought you're on some next forum because yeah. Nike Nike talk is like a forum for sneakers. Oh. Oh. I, I thought you're on some next website looking at like cartel shit. Yeah. Like, why the fuck are you searching that up? <laughs> nah, never mind. Like, these guys selling coke, fam. Nah, that's just... what are you doing, bro? On your past time. Fam. Nah, you're good. But I seen one. They were chopping the coke up and they were putting it in water and they're shipping it out. Oh shit! Yeah, like they like it. Yeah, what do you call it? I think they put it in tinfoil yeah. and they shipped it out during You watched Narcos, right? No, I didn't. Yo, <clears throat> did you know Coke, like Coca-Cola actually yeah. did have cocaine in it? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola actually had cocaine the in soda. it. The soda. Yeah, the soda. The, the original fuck? recipe of Coca-Cola had cocaine and then they took it out. So they took it out and then it had like another recipe. What the but fuck? when El Chapo, yeah. sorry, 
Pablo Escobar. Mm. When Pablo Escobar came into power yeah. and he was running the drug empire, they were able to put coca cocaine back into Coca-Cola just for fun. Wait, so and people were drinking narcos. this? Or, or did they just do that to ship it off? No, bro. Or so, people were drink, actually cause, cause drinking this? Cocaine is mm. highly, highly addictive, right? Yeah, and Coke was? Yeah, Coca-Cola, the original recipe, they put a little bit of that shit in. Mm. And that kind of gave that effect of addiction. Oh. And so they took it out for health reasons, obviously. Yeah. But when Pablo Escobar was running his drug empire, uh -huh. he obviously had like very high reps within those factories, whatever. Mm. They just put it back in the recipe, bro. What the f so, P when was this? This was like, um, it's probably like the 80s. Oh, fuck. Yeah, do, do that's you know, real. Yeah, do you know that thing where it's like lemon juice was created to make like um, uh, ink, like invisible ink? Oh, it's ink. invisible ink? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, there was this, I read the story about this stupid, the most dumb bank robber in the history of the world, man. Why, what did you do? So, so he was like, yo, I don't want to rob just one bank. Yeah. He's like, fuck it, I'm, I'm going to rob two. But he's like, Yo, I need a mask, right? Mm -hmm. But he's like, actually, never mind. I'm not going to wear a mask. Why? I'm going to squeeze lemon juice all on my face because he thought that it would make his face invisible. <laughs> because, because, fam, because back then, if you squeeze lemon on a paper. And, and then you write it, right? And then you yeah, write yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like spy kid shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so what he did, right? So the guy goes in the bank yeah. and he, he tells the teller, yo, give me all your fucking money, right? <laughs> and, and the teller's like, okay. And he, she does it. She's like, and the guy was like, don't worry. I have a face. Like he thought he was actually he invisible. He's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> so while this was going on, boom, 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 shit happened. The, poli the police were called and then they arrested him, right? Yeah. And then he's like, his last words before he got um, put in jail, mm -hmm. he's like, fuck, I even put the juice on. <laughs> like he's actually stupid fam. Oh my god Bro <clears throat> Play stupid games You win stupid prizes fam. <laughs> Squeezing lemon juice On your face Is so that's insane like that. I, I just thought of like Supreme Patty You know when you used to Oh yeah yeah In the eyes eye? That's yeah. fucked up bro Oh okay I, I saw this thing On TikTok mm. This is crazy Listen <sighs> listen So do you ever wonder Why humans Grow beards Uh nah Like we have the ability To grow beards right Yeah it's just Facial hair right mm -hmm. And some people They don't grow beard or facial hair Asians, at all. Yeah. Asians, yeah, some Asians. And women specifically, they don't really grow facial hair, right? Oh, okay, okay. Now check this out. There's actually a scientific purpose for facial hair and beards in general. Like what? And you know what it is? No. It's for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Think what? about it, think about it. So long, long time ago, mm. all of the warriors would grow beards. Now they did a scientific study. They, they simulated a face and... They simulated a bald face, yeah. a face with a little bit of stubble, and a face mm -hmm. with a full-fledged beard. Okay. And they tested it, putting pressure the same amount that a, a punch could, right? Okay. And they found out mm -hmm. that the bald face, every single time they simulated the punch, yeah. it would break the jaw. But when using uh, a shaved, sorry, when using an unshaven Body face shaved. with a full beard, mm. it only broke 45% of the time. <laughs> So, so the theory is mm. that our ancestors, if you can grow a beard, yeah. you probably have an ancestry of warriors or fighters. Oh. And that's why, look at women. Yeah. Women don't need to fight because historically, mm. it was usually the men that went into combat. What and the then that's why fuck? they were the ones growing beards. Mm. So if you don't grow facial hair, it might tell you a little bit about your ancestry. Whoa, that's your theory. That's fire. Because mm. look, I'd, me... I don't think I, my dad's told me any stories about me having any like warrior background type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't grow facial hair like that. Mm -hmm. You have a goatee. <laughs> yeah, well, Do like, you I, have? Could, I could grow a full beard if I really want yeah. to. Like, I know you guys can probably see it. Like I have like stubble around here because I shave yeah, it, yeah. try to keep it clean. Uh -huh. But this shit grows fast. <laughs> So do you have any warrior background? Probably, fam. Like, yeah. in the Philippines, I know, because uh, my dad grew up in Cebu. Yeah. And that was where, you know, Ferdinand Magellan? So he was the one that tried to conquer the Philippines from mm. Spain. Okay. And he pretty much landed there. Mm -hmm. And check this out. He died there because of the tribesmen. Yeah. Uh, I think his name was Lapo Lapo. Mm, I, I know. Yeah, you know that story? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he killed them with all of the tribesmen, like the kind of like pirates, right? Mm, okay. So they were the war the original warriors of the Philippines. Yeah. Did you know in the Philippines they were they were named as the painted people? Did you know that? The painted people? Like that was that's what they called the Filipinos at first. Word. Until like they 
they colonize that shit. I didn't know. No, because I think we're, we were darker. We're darker than most of the Asians. Like, no, that's not tan. why. Why? The painted people because we got tattoos. Oh. So original Filipinos, like um, the indigenous, right? Yeah. They tattoo their face. They mm. tattoo their whole body. And then the, the Spaniards, when they came over and colonized, yeah. they call them the painted people. But what happened was when they, they did like the mission and kind of made everyone Christian, yeah. they took away all of that stuff. Yeah, and then they called it like satanic and blah, blah. I was going to say, because I was going to extend your theory on the, the beard thing. Yeah. Oh, actually, let me not do that first. Mm -hmm. So in, in Jamaica, when I was in Jamaica, yeah. there was a reoccurring <laughs> thing where at the resorts, all the workers, whenever I went up to them, mm -hmm. after I asked them something, they always asked me, are you Chinese? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and they were making fun of me, my mom, and my dad when we first got there. Because he looks Chinese? No, no, no. So the front desk, right? Mm -hmm. we, we check in. We're about to check in. We give them all their, our information. And then the girl's like, she kind of did like this little uh, inside joke with, her, with his partner. She's like, wait, who booked the resort? Mm. Right? And then my mom, I'm, I'm like, no, my dad did. He's like, is there anyone old enough to book a resort? And, oh, my, dad's, what? and my dad's like, what the fuck? <laughs> my dad, he's like, yo, I'm 50, fam. My mom's like, yo, I'm 51. That's right? crazy. And then, and then Paige, I was like, yo, how do you old do you think I am? She's like, oh, you look 15. I'm like, I'm like, chill. I'm 21. She's like, oh. And then she's like, she went away. She's like, oh, yeah, let me yeah, take yeah. a breather. That was, that was the concierge? Yeah, that was the concierge. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. What yo, Jamaica is low-key rude, fam. Like, they, they have no filter down there. Like, they'll say whatever's on Because it's a their different mind. life. Because I, I don't blame different cultures. That's their norm. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, maybe they do see other people as mm. super. Because Asians, they kind of look young. Really? Yo, you do, but. Theory, fam? Yeah. I feel like Asians look the same age until a certain point, And then all of a sudden, they look super old bro <laughs> once they hit 80 all the yeah friends. holy shit i feel like they look so young like there there's really young looking old asians <laughs> facts, facts. but once they hit that one year that one year all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden they hit the stance bro and they look old i swear to god like they look so young until that point when they start doing this shit. Oh yeah, that's it's raps. raps. <laughs> At least we're in our prime for a lot of years though. Yeah. Like Asian don't raise it, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think is is the oldest person in the world Chinese. They are right. No, I think it's Indian. Oh, oh no, I think that's the tallest guy. It might be the. It might be the. Wait, the, the tallest guy in the world, Chinese. All right, Indian. Indian. Yeah, I think. Remember the the Ripley's. If you go down to Niagara, I think that guy's Indian. No, he's white. What? He's white. No, but I think there was another one that broke it. That it's was got to be someone Chinese. It's gonna be like a Yao Ming type of. No, Yao Ming was is not even naturally born like that. Oh yeah, he was. He, he was, was factory yeah, built. Like now, I'm talking about natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know, there's an actual surgery to make yourself taller. Uh, BBLs. <laughs> no, to make yourself taller, <laughs> like a height BBL. Yeah, there is actually. Like, what is. is it? What is it? So they break your shins and then they implant like new shins into you, and you, that's, you can grow. That's like amputation. No, no, no. Your shin, your shin bone. So it's still your, it's still your body. Yeah. And then I think they can add like up to four inches. What the fuck? Yeah, onto your height. And some people actually do it, like in Korea or whatever. Uh, hey man, embrace your height, bro. Yo, freaking! At this point, it blows my mind because I start seeing super pretty people mm. on social media, on television, everything, right? And then when I search up what they look like before, yeah. my mind is blown. Why? Like a lot of these people have plastic surgery and I just oh, never realized. For sure. Do you think, because that's, it's like mandatory. Once you, once you get a big clout following, it's like, you got to look good for the press. That's kind of messed up. It's bro. not though. It's not. That's though. messed up. I don't think it's messed up because it's like, that's society right now. Like you got to, pretty has a, like you feel me, has a standard. No, you know why it's messed up? It's why? because people will do that and then try to, call it natural and then that becomes the norm and then what what becomes of the world yeah if that's the norm yeah because kid look at the normal right now for if you want to be pretty you got to look like kim kardashian you got to have wide hips you got to have a fat ass nah she even changed it see that that's what, what she, gets you even crazier right what she, what she changed so to? kim kardashian just recently mm. she decided yo i guess this aesthetic isn't working anymore <laughs> And she chopped off her BBL. Yeah. Uh, she chopped off she her did? yeah her titties and her ass. Oh fuck. And it's gone. And she she put on a whole new aesthetic with her body. So you know how some people like they change their their clothing aesthetic. Yeah. They they dress differently. Like they go from goth to like Y two K. Yeah. Whatever it is. Uh. Kim Kardashian literally just did that with surgery. Damn. So you think you think for girls, Kim Kardashian most top top three inf influential. Oh, like for sure, she, she's number one. You in know my what? Opinion, That's number a one. crazy power couple then, because Kanye for guys, yeah, yeah, 
and Kim for oh my god yeah yeah and Kim yeah, yeah. that's a golden that's literally a golden yeah. capitalism couple right there I know and you can tell like um Kim still misses Kanye because I don't know if you see North North's TikTok yeah so North is definitely Kanye's child because <laughs> she's putting on makeup to look like Kanye yeah, yeah, yeah. and she looks exactly like Kanye and they they're making TikTok TikToks together. and like Kim's hugging like Kanye yeah. shit like that. it just no. so it's just weird because when I saw that right. It's yeah. just a little bit weird to me just because all the other stuff going on. Yeah. And I can't get that stuff out of my head like when I think about Kanye. what Kanye says. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, I feel like you can't just do anything Kanye no more and then not think about what he said now. What he said, yeah. It sucks. Yeah, bro. But yeah, Going back to the, the beard thing, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to extend your theory. Yeah. So if you have uh, a lot of beard, your fight or flight is mostly fight. But if you don't, if you don't have a beard... <laughs> Yo, but there's some UFC fighters that don't grow facial hair. No, but they definitely ch chop that off though. Mm -hmm. So I think what it is, this is what I think what it is. Mm. Um, in your ancestry, I guess your ancestors didn't fight a lot. Doesn't necessarily mean you won't. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean you won't. You won't. Yeah. It's just like your ancestors probably. So you have like a lineage of like people yeah, yeah. fighting. That's why. Oh, uh -huh. oh, ready? Okay. That's why all of the Mongols, all of the the ancient Chinese, um. Martial arts masters. They have the long. They have the long beard. They all have beards, bro. I wish I had a like an uncle with that type of beard. Yo, because I know that's that's like every growth is like plus five wisdom. He's a he's gained through his life. Yo, think about that. Because there's a lot of Chinese people that don't yeah. grow beards that yeah. are like clean baby face, yeah. right? And another theory: Conor McGregor, whenever he has a full set of hair, unbeatable prime yeah, when he yeah. shaves it off when he shaves it off boom, boom knocked out you feel no me? he still didn't he win the championship with, with no, the bald he had, head he had the he had the comb over that's what Charon told me shout out Charon he told me that that theory no you know what it was because so we have a friend his name's Charon yeah and every single time he was on the podcast before too yeah. but every single time he hops onto something or like he puts his energy into like choosing somebody to yes, win bro. or even just claiming something, right? Yes, bro. It's the Charon curse. It's a curse. Yeah. For some reason, that shit fails, right? And I think what happened was <laughs> one time when Conor McGregor went bald, mm. he went bald too. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> he shaved his head too. Yeah. So what if Charon just cursed the, the cut from Conor McGregor whenever he gets bald mm -hmm. and then now that's why he always fails. Now looking deeper into it, so Drake is known as to have a Drake curse. Yeah. Right? So if you look up to Drake, you love Drake, right? You take that same energy <laughs> and you pass it on to everyone else. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, Drake, yeah. maybe he, since he's like one of the biggest influential, mm -hmm. he has this type of energy where if you look up to me, more money, more problems. Shit, he's just mm. projecting it on us. So he takes all the good shit. He projects all the bad shit. Yeah, yeah. Before I think we, we talked about that before, how, how theory... Yeah, Drake is sucking all of the energy out of Toronto, yeah. and that's why everything else is a little bit like nobody's helping each other. Nothing's but, really popping off except for him. Yeah, but when we look look to Drake, mm -hmm. he's the goat. And there's another. So we have a lot of curses in our group because the Carlos curse oh, is this a new one. This is a new whenever one. he goes to a solo person's concert, so say Yeet is performing, say Destroy Lonely is performing, right after he goes to that concert, they fall off. <laughs> <laughs> they fall off and it's happened before we've seen it so he went no to the, no no there's there's one person we can't name because yeah yeah but yeah, okay but, but we've he went to killy concert that's killy. the person i was talking about oh, oh, oh. <laughs> fuck it bro i thought you were talking about this <laughs> but no, no. so killy right after he went to it killy fell falls off uh he goes to little tj Falls off right now. He got shot, fam. Yeah, he fell fam. off. He fell now off. Now he went randomly. He goes to destroy lonely, my favorite artist, and yeah. he, he cops the merch. So that's double. So you're he's definitely falling off in the next year. Okay, but no disrespect to anybody that are fans of those people, but yeah. I I got to see a lot of those artists when they were in their prime. Yeah, but I think that's what it is. Maybe I I just have a I have a sense of like when they're gonna be in their prime. Yeah, and then I just go to that concert then at that time. Mm. I think I think the most. Uh, underrated skill to have in this life is to seek finding people with potential. Mm. Like, like if you if you have that skill, you can be the best um, uh, media scout. You don't have to work a day in your life because your skill is through them. You just have to hire them, pay them. That's true. They make you money. That's true. But you have to be skillful enough to and know how to monetize that, though. Exactly. No, they. D oh yeah, that's true. You have to be skillful enough to know how to monetize that. Because yeah. just finding them, just because you found somebody, doesn't mean you're gonna get rich off somebody. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's true.
Like, look at all those people. For example, there's a lot of people that found artists before and then another network or another, like, um, label yeah. takes control and then, boom, leaves his boy in the dust. And, you know what I mean? They go to <laughs> they go to the, the racist, fam. Like, they're off into the millions. Yeah, there's a thing going in New York right now because I'm all the... Like, literally, there was a girl named Murder B who made, like, three hit songs. Just three. Yeah. And she already got signed, right? So mm-hmm. everyone in New York, like, the, the drill artists are getting signed. And there's one guy named Didi Osama. And so, and people are saying that he signed for $1,000 in a box of Wheaties. <laughs> Like bear three sixties are going around in New York right now. Damn, bro. Honestly, I don't. I don't know why a lot of people can't do it themselves anymore. Yeah, they can. Yeah, it's it, it's been shown that it's been done mm-hmm. and like it's possible. I don't know why more people don't think like that. I don't know. Why do you think that is? Do you think people just don't have a belief in themselves? Or I think it's because if you're if you're in that position, like say Bronx, New York, you're living in like one apartment house. Mm. All you know is that deal that's going to get you out mm. right and as soon as you see that amount of zeros obviously you're going to take it bro because you yeah. ha- you know nothing else that's true. you know you can't do it yourself because your whole life you haven't that's true i agree with that yeah it, it's just it's just tough because i feel like we're yo we're literally living in a new age we are where everything everything is in your hands to be successful yeah like if you're not doing something to make yourself a little bit more successful every single day mm. then you're just not tuned into what's actually happening yo ai chat gpt you can make millions of <laughs> you can literally chat, make millions yeah. of that shit people are already starting to grind it now that's that's technically um the atari version yeah so this is where it gets scary that's <laughs> the atari version uh-huh. if for whatever reason there's gonna be a ps4 version of chat gpt mm. what's gonna happen to everybody's jobs no one nothing bro i think um i forgot exactly who said it but Somebody on Joe Rogan, I remember he was talking yeah. and he said, eventually what's going to happen to the world is our technology is going to be so advanced that we don't have to work hard and we're not going to be doing any of those technical jobs. Mm-hmm. What we're going to be doing are strictly creative jobs because that's one thing that a robot can't do the same as a human. Mm. And what's crazy, though, is AI is kind of proving that they can also do creative things too. Yeah. Which is kind of fucked. I already saw that in a TikTok. This guy said, I work a, a corporate job, but I don't work a corporate job. Mm. So he gets, he gets hired to sit at home and do his work, right? Yeah. But th- those corporate people don't know what's happening behind the scenes. He has an AI to do all his work. Mm. So boom, he's getting paid to sit down and chill while the AI does the work. Damn. And this is right now since we're in the, you said, um, the Atari. Atari age. Yeah. No one's going to question it because like, how the fuck are you doing that yeah but exactly. as soon as people catch on and this this technology isn't free mm-hmm. boom that's where that's where everyone's gonna start doing it yeah because <laughs> it's still like a gray area it's still like yeah. nobody nobody knows anything about yeah. it right now that's why tech oh my god the tech industry whoo if you want to go in a career mm-hmm. that's gonna come up soon go in the tech industry bro okay i have a this is kind of like a high thought mm-hmm. i'm not high but like this is like a this is like yeah. a, a shower type of thought listen okay. if technology st- completes everything right like let's say every single movie every single piece of creative material ever imagined yeah could be made what do you think is going to be popular let's say every single trend because as we know tiktok is accelerating trends Mm. one week it's one trend the next week maybe the next day yeah that wave is over there's another one what do you think is going to be the most sustainable trend if everything else is moving so quickly. Mm. Oh, I think you said that. Like, human art. Mm. Like, you know, those fucking... Even, like, the most simple things. Like, imagine I take two fingers, put paint on it, I go like this. Yeah. That's a million dollars next year. You think... So you think that's what... It, Probably, the, because, like, the that's the only be? thing not... not uh, What do you call this? Anim- uh, what do you call it? Automated. Yeah. That's made. Damn. How about you? What it's you hard to say, fam, because if you think about it... um. We like digital art. Yeah. You know how people make Photoshop, whatever. Mm. For a time, people are like, nah, I only want paintings. Mm. And before paint, what were they doing? Probably just like sticks and rocks in the dirt yeah, and yeah, shit, right? So it's hard to say. It's hard to really say like what's going to be yeah. stable or what's going to stay with us. But you know the, that sticks in the rock and dirt stuff? Yeah. That's that's crazy to us though. In it's, this time, it's still crazy because to it's us. like, oh, we go in a cave and we see that we're like, whoa. That's true. You that's true. I mean? Like the the dirt on the on the rocks and stuff. Yeah, those are paintings though. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, bro. No, that's kind of crazy. Cause do you think eventually in the future 
Mm-hmm. If we're so advanced, we're gonna look at paintings and be like, "Holy shit, this is crazy." Maybe I think or even pencil, pencil drawings, like doodles on on a fucking doodles. paper. Doodles, yeah, for sure. In That'll the, probably go in the history doodles. textbooks. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I think eventually uh, we're going to be so far into, like, I'm not saying our generation. Listen, imagine 500 years into the future. They're going to look at those little notes we passed in class. Mm. They're going to look at that shit like, holy fuck. This is some relic type. Yeah, bro. Beat, you know what I mean? This is some this is some ancestral work. That's rid- and then for us, it was just like, do you like me? Yes or no type shit. You know? A lie. But we they're gonna think that's dick. so crazy. They're gonna think that shit's so crazy. They go see a drawing of a dick in the textbook, like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Especially the ones that stay intact, because that's probably rare now. Yeah. Yo, that's that's actually kind of rare now. Mm. Like if you can date, if you can carbon date like a like a note that was written, let's say in the 80s, that's kind of rare to even find one right now. Like I don't oh, even know. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like if you had like if you had to go out of your house right now, look for a, a note that was written in the 80s. Where the fuck are you gonna look for it? Thrift store, probably. Oh, good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. Or like somebody, somebody old house, mm-hmm. but like that's still rare to find. Yeah, maybe that's the cultural reset. We're just gonna have to reset it. So remember, um, back then we look at that, uh, the old era, like those sticks and rocks guys, like yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. fire, shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's our era right now, but we just don't know it. Damn, you feel me? You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? So the NFL playoffs are here, and my go-to place for wild card round action is DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. So to kick off the road to Super Bowl 57, new customers can bet five. $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Plus, all and new existing customers can get no sweat bet each day of the wildcard round this weekend. So just place any NFL bet of your choice, and if it loses, you'll get a free bet back up to $10. Since the action is so good, why bet NFL playoffs anywhere else? Me and my friends are big NBA and NFL fans, and especially when the playoff time comes around. We love putting bets down on if a team is going to win or not, and DraftKings is where we go to place all those bets. Whether it's betting on a player over under or a team to win, DraftKings is where we go to make all our bets. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code JUMP Pod, J-U-M-P-P-O-D, new customers can bet $5 on the NFL and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code JUMPPOD. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. Please see the description for details. So I know a lot of you guys, when you guys are online shopping, you guys go to the checkout, you guys have everything ready, and then you see that shipping cost. And for business owners, I know shipping costs are the number one cause of abandoned carts. So in a landscape where free and fast shipping is the norm, it can be hard for smaller e-commerce businesses to compete. So keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. So when you use ShipStation, you can lower your shipping costs, make returns easy, and keep your customers happy. And with all the time you save from automating shipping tasks, you guys can keep your business growing all year long. So I know for all you small business owners, you guys are stressing about shipping. You guys have a lot of orders. Trust me guys, ShipStation has a free trial and it's a really quick setup so you guys can get your business going and have everything organized. So ShipStation makes it easy to grow your business by handling orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. ShipStation effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. So you guys can manage every order from one simple dashboard, automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. So with the best discounts in the industry, you'll never worry about paying for shipping, get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation. Use promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free day, 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, Promo code jumpers. Speaking of rocks and shit, mm. do you ever hear about <laughs> speaking of rocks and shit? <laughs> Transition game on hundred. <laughs> speaking of rocks and shit. I just realized how some jokes that was. <laughs> Yo, there has to be a <laughs> compilation <laughs> of, of like transitions. Of, of transition. Yo, speaking of Yo, the floor. <laughs> speaking of the floor. <laughs> Yo, speaking about. I, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so okay. I just saw this on TikTok. Okay. Did, did you ever hear about the Grand Canyon theory? Never. No. That so somebody jumped it. Jumped it. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then jumped the whole. No, thing. no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, so check this out. So the Grand Canyon. Okay. One of the world's wonders. Mm. There's a theory. 
that the Grand Canyon holds something yeah. that none of us knew was there. So back in the 1850s, right? Yeah. The Grand Canyon was used to mine gold. Okay. Did you know that? Now, the Grand Canyon, when people started mining it, the gold index crashed because they found so much gold there. Okay. Now, what happened was the government and the military, they closed it off and they made it a sanctuary so that nobody can just go there and then take whatever they want. Mm. But there was this one guy, his name was Seth Tanner, okay. and he was an explorer. He explored this one cave in the Grand Canyon and he claims what he saw yeah. was ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics in one of the caves. Oh, what did it say? Now, the theory is that the Grand Canyon, it actually holds the lost city of El Dorado. What? Like, you know, the, the lost gold city of El Dorado. Yeah, the whole city. The fam. whole city. So if you think about it, it's never found. That, that ancient tale that all of the natives talk about, yeah. the lost city, the gold city, is never found. Now, the theory is that it's literally in the Grand Canyon, yeah. deep in these caves. And the reason the government and the world is trying to keep it a secret yeah. is because it would crash the gold price. Like gold wouldn't be useless mm. if they find that much gold. Wow. Just think about it, supply and demand, right? Yeah. If they find a huge abundance of gold, nobody's going to care about it. Do you think there's still people living there right now still protecting Still living it? there? Still I don't think- protecting the gold. Who knows? <clears throat> who knows? Because who knows if, if it's like livable? Yeah. If it's livable or if it's just like just ruins. No, but I mean, it's a, if it's a, what do you call this? If it has a, a few people there, mm -hmm. they can de definitely make it livable. If you have some food and some water. Yeah. You just never know. We don't know that. That's kind of, it reminds you of, um, you ever watch Shang-Chi? Shang oh, the, the fighting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the the yeah. yeah, that, yeah. One, that one. You watched it, right? Yeah. You know how in the beginning there's the woman and she's kind of, she's guarding the secret city. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like how I imagined it. Yeah. Imagine if it's something like that. Yo, imagine if there's a real, you know, Journey to the Center of the Earth. What if there's a real one like that? I don't know about that one. That one's kind of... You, you don't think that could be real? No. Because that's the whole fucking dimension after dimension. Because they were going down that shit for a long time. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think that's real. I definitely think there's some sort of secrets but like underground mm -hmm. that we haven't seen and it's just been there the whole time. Oh, um, I remember seeing this thing about the national parks. So there's actual people going feral in the national Why? parks. Why? Why? Uh, no, just people, just random people going feral and- uh, Oh, living there? Yeah, living there and capturing these kids. So uh, there was a map that I seen, right? Mm -hmm. And about the national parks. And there was, uh, I think it's called Missing 411. Yeah. And uh, there's landmarks everywhere of people being uh being captured and gone missing mm -hmm. and all those dots on the maps are like cave systems oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so so what it is is like they're just going missing just because they have some people i guess are living there that are going feral i take them you think they're like cannibals just like eating people exactly, in the caves yeah. that kind of makes sense to be honest like, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it bro yeah. if what are the what's the easiest prey what's the easiest prey what's the easiest prey for in the wild loki a human yeah. Yo, that's kind of fucked. Yeah. Holy shit. That's why I don't. Yo, wait a minute. I mean, it's not necessarily because there's chickens and shit, but a human because you can communicate them and trick them. That's dark. I know. Yo, that's dark. If you bag it, right? Let's say, let's say you're in the wild, right? Uh -huh. And let's say you're in the wild and you're with like a few people. Yeah. And you guys are all starving and you guys have to get food. A lot of you guys can't fish, blah, blah. blah. Yep. A lot of you guys can't hunt if you have no weapons. But you know how to talk to people. Exactly. This fam, fam. Yo, fam. that's kind of crazy. Like skinwalkers in forests, but not just that. Like skin, I, I feel like some skinwalkers just go into normal life. Like mm -hmm. maybe you you might think that you're talking to a person in every, in like maybe a hotel. Yeah. But they're ad actually not real. Like there's been stories of like, um I think there's like this old lady story mm -hmm. where in, a, in an apartment, like condo like this, mm -hmm. where uh, a security guard let in an old lady right yeah and everyone and the security the other security guards were looking at him on the camera like the security cameras yeah yeah and he was making these motions like like he like talking he was, to somebody like he was talking to someone mm -hmm. right and so the secu other security guards they called him on the radio they said yo what are you doing he's like oh i'm just assisting this old lady the security guards <gasps> oh, were like i think i seen this yeah video. you saw that video yeah and the security guard was like 
what do you mean? She's right here. And the security guard, like, fam, there's no lady right there. Like, go, like, run. Yeah, so yeah. the security guard pressed the elevator, and this is the video. He runs away. Mm. So the security guard told them, oh, yeah, I've been assisting this lady for, like, like a few days now. Oh, what and the fuck? everybody in that condo said they've been, they've been having regular conversations with that same old lady. We know what she looks like. Damn. So it's that as skinwalkers, if they decide to come into a regular world, oh, yeah, it's lit. It's lit for them. Oh, <laughs> Damn, wait, wait. What is it? What is this game? Like, is it a ghost? I it's thought it was a ghost. No? Yeah, it's a ghost or like a, uh, yeah, it's a spirit that goes into either an animal or a, or a human, which so like now they can live again. Form? They can live again. I, do you have the video still? Yeah, I have the video. Play the video. Yeah, yeah. So look, look at the security guard. He's like, oh shit, this is not the video I thought. Look, he's literally staring at somebody, fam. Yeah, yeah. And then when and he's the like going like this, yeah. Like when the security guard other says, "Yo, uh, there's no one there." Look, he's getting paged. He's getting paged. Boom, run. Oh shit! Run. So yeah. So they told him like nobody's there. Nobody's there. That's why. And he's like, "Oh fuck!" Turns <laughs> on the elevator, <laughs> runs away, fuck, fam. Fuck. There's another story like that. Nah, th there was another footage. Yeah. I saw footage of this security guard. Mm. Um. He was like help. This was at a hospital. Okay. So he was he was helping somebody walk in. Yeah. And it was somebody that was that was kind of weak, and needed assistance, walking with her, like this. Mm -hmm. Here's the elevators, and then on the security camera footage, nobody's there. It's nobody. just him. It's just him, like going literally like hovering his arm. Holy fuck! fuck. I think I think that's the smartest way to if you were a spirit and you wanted some attention, mm -hmm. go into an old person because old people are gonna get immediate care mm. so it's like yeah you got to help them yeah and they're, they're the most innocent they're not gonna hurt you that's true oh that's so scary that's true that that is very true because like old people can't really they harm. Can't harm yeah them. they can't really harm so you're like yeah i'll help you fuck it damn bro yo did you know there's an actual study on um past lives so it was the university of virginia the yeah. university of virginia they did a real study this is a real study mm. of past lives and children that remember their past lives. Oh, so fuck. they did a sample test. I think they got like eight to 10 kids. Mm. And they, these were kids that remember a life before. And you know what the age range is? What, like eight to 12? Nah, it's even younger. It's what? like, I think it's one to four. What? Literally one to four. And in the study that they did, yeah. they claimed that as they got older, cause they stayed with them their whole lives, right? Yeah. Cause they started remembering things as they got older around age five to six to seven to eight, they started to forget. Mm. And they started, it started to become more blurry about their past lives. Mm. So theory, what if babies, like newborn babies, yeah. if they were smart enough to speak and actually communicate with us, they would be able to tell us exactly where they came from. Yo. Think about Wait, so with this, with those students or with those kids, yeah. did they, um? When they got older, did they interview them again and just like oh yeah yeah that's what they did they okay. st they followed them and they studied it so early stage like one to four yeah. they remembered oh this was the house I used to stay at these are the people I remember and they brought them to those families that they were a part of before no way yeah they did and oh. bro and as they got older they forgot. So is this true? Is this proof that reincarnation is real? Yeah, I believe in reincarnation. I believe that is so super true. But I was just like, fuck, they try to wipe the memory and then like you're on to your next one. Do you think, do you think it's like, since you say we're in a simulation right now, mm -hmm. do you think that all your lives are connected? So you're, if you're, if you're, right now, this is your path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, so it connects in not, some not, way. Yeah, not just like, your life right now has a, a path. Yeah. You think you're external and then your external. That's kind of crazy. And then your external life has another path. That's kind of crazy to, to think that maybe important people in my life was actually me. Yeah. And then my past life living through them. Yeah, exactly. So whether it be my teacher that had a huge impact on my life or like my coach that had a huge impact on my life, it was actually me before. Yeah. <laughs> no, crazy because uh, to think I don't, about. you said something about how through your friends, you can see all the paths that you didn't take. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of crazy. It's like, oh, maybe God, that's God's sign of like showing you, boom. Like what you're in done. the right one. Damn. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Now, okay, take it on like a, a malicious path, right? Okay. What if, is a theory, the elites, 
Yeah. They manipulate dimensions so that we can't transverse into our past lives. <laughs> That's fucked. So listen, listen, listen. That's why we see like Mandela effects and shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if people don't know what I'm talking about, listen. Imagine, imagine that we're on one dimension mm. and our past lives are connected on this dimension. If something happens, you play with dark matter, blah, blah, blah. Scientists are playing with uh, the particle defibrillator, blah, blah. Yeah. They fuck up the dimensions and we can't access. It's like Avatar. It's like Legend of Korra, bro. Oh, nah. It's like Legend of Korra. You can't access the, the ancestors, like mm. the Avatar states. Yeah. No, that's scary. That's fuck. Think about that. Oh, I have a Mandela effect for you, actually. Okay, let me hear. This is a new one. I, I said this while I was in the club to Charon. Okay. So there, this, this is new. Okay. There's a Mandela effect. Drake. Yeah. What is he known for when he was rapping? Back in the day, at least. I don't know. So when Drake raps, he usually goes, Oh, oh, right. The, Check this out. I, I know that. Drake has never done when rapping. You guys can Google it, search it up on YouTube. It's a Mandela effect. He's never done. Nah, fam. He's I done know. other. He's done other other shit, but he's never done. Because I I remember in the what is 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 this one the hotline? Hot no, I know he did it. Wasn't that this, one. It wasn't this. It wasn't this, bro. What was it then? It's a Mandela. It, this is not even my Mandela effect. Like this yeah. is other people are claiming this. What the fuck? Go look, do research. Drake has never done no, when rapping. Bro. Like he's done other shit, but he hasn't done. I remember though in the hotline like he said, I think it's a nah, meme. Fam. I think it's a, isn't it the meme with like doing like this? No, that's yeah. different. That's different. But that's the, but this, thing. like the one hand like this, he hasn't done. I Mandela see. effect. Nah, that's a crazy one. I Mandela can't talk, effect, bro. I can't talk. It's crazy. Crazy. Because everyone remembers it. Yeah. Every, I remember that shit. I remember that shit too. I thought it was actually in the hotline bling, but yeah. fuck, bro. Oh, I'm blowing your mind again. Ready? Yeah, let me see. Check this out. <clears throat> Disney. Do you know why Disney characters wear gloves? No. Why? Check this out. The, the gloves Disney characters wear, yeah. it's resemblance to Disney characters don't we have gloves on bro what are you talking about Disney characters don't have gloves like what do you mean like uh the princesses no look at look at um look at Mickey oh, okay Mickey, Mickey uh else? Goofy whoever whoever is in in that in that crew okay so they wear gloves crew. they wear gloves okay, okay. Right? you know why why watch this why why do they wear gloves they're all murderers check this shit out they're mass murderers Boom. Okay. So you're familiar with those gloves, right? Yeah, yeah. Mickey's wearing those gloves. It has like the three lines on it. The infamous. Yeah. The infamous gloves. Interesting. Why those gloves and why those three lines? Okay. Check this out. These gloves are the same gloves uh -huh. of the Freemasons. No. Of the Freemasons, bro. No. Crazy. No Crazy. way. That's why Mickey and all those random characters on, on Disney fam, no. they all wear those gloves, bro. No. Look at it. Those are the Freemason gloves. That's why they have the three lines on it. Specifically those three lines. Where have we ever seen gloves with those three lines? No. Ever. It's not even like a regular thing. They're literally Freemason gloves. That's fucked. Crazy. Crazy. No, that's, that right? blows my mind. That blows my mind. Crazy. So guys, it's all about confidence when it comes to sex. Am I right? And what's a better confidence booster than a fun round with your partner? All courtesy of the chewables from bluechew.com. So what is Blue Chew? So Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And now they also have Verdenafil mint flavored chewables with active ingredients in Levitra and Staxin so you guys can stay hard and fresh. So Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder and stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. And Blue Chew is now an online prescription service, so no more visits to the doctor, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line for pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. So the process is simple. You sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. And what's the best part? It's done all online. And if you guys don't like swallowing pills, no problem. Blue Chew Sildenafil and Teletafil tablets are chewable. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And don't forget the free special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. 
promo code jumpers to receive your first month free. So if you guys don't know numbers, you guys don't know your business. So if you guys have your own business, when it's growing extremely fast, it's very easy to get caught up in the numbers. That's even more true when there's a lot of uncertainty. So since inflammation is running rampant, supply chains are clogged and the labor market is tight. What does that mean for your margins? Not every business is in the dark. And that's all because of our sponsor today, NetSuite. Over 33,000 businesses know their numbers because they use NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system. So NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system to power your growth with visibility and control of your financials, inventory, HR, planning, budgeting, and more. NetSuite is everything you need to grow all in one place. So with NetSuite, you guys can automate your processes and close your books in no time while staying well ahead of your competition. 93% of surveyed businesses increase their visibility and control after upgrading to NetSuite. So for the new year, NetSuite has a new financing program for those ready to upgrade at netsuite.com slash jumpers. Head to netsuite.com slash jumpers for the special one-of-kind financing offer on the number one financial system for growing your business. That's netsuite.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Now check this out. Yeah. I have, I have a, so nearby, nearby our area, mm. there's a St. Louis. Okay. So it's a restaurant, right? Now look at the logo. Yeah, it has the devil horns. I know yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know that's so, so, so there's like devil horns that has the devil tail, right? The devil tail. So I'm like, what the fuck is St. Louis anyway? What is St. Louis? What so I Googled it, fam. Yeah, what I is Googled it? it. Did you know St. Louis is... The murder, sorry, is the murder capital of America. Oh, the most murders in America happen in St. Louis, Mississippi. I never know. Now, check this out. I searched up who is St. Louis, St. Louis. Mm. Who is he? Yeah. And he was actually the patron saint mm. of builders and masons. What? So you can imagine... The Freemasons, who do they worship? St. Lucifer, fam. Oh. <laughs> worship the devil, bro. And that's why St. Louis has the devil. Oh. And you can imagine maybe the city mm. in Mississippi, the reason it's it's the most dangerous city in America yeah. is because it's named after who? What the fuck? It's crazy, right? I, I thought I was the only one that noticed that, but I knew you were going to catch on to that too. Because when I went to it the second time, yeah, you saw I it. seen the devil. I didn't like, see it at first. Yeah, I didn't see it at first too. Where's St. Louis? Um, What country is that in? America, what are you talking about? Oh, sorry, sorry. The king? Yeah, yeah. Uh, France. That, that's why That's why St. Louis, not Louis. Louis, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Because it's French. Okay, because I, at first when I was looking at that, I was like, it's got to be a sports team. Like mm -hmm. St. Louis Devils. Because I know that's a, a... But I think it's St... St. Jersey Devils, so it has no correlation. Nah, nah. That's what, oh my That's God. It's crazy, right? Crazy. Why is that? Yo, patron Saint, patron Saint of, of Builders and Masons? Yeah. Come on. That's how you know, like. Y'all thought, y'all thought I wouldn't find out? <laughs> Yo, now now that's every restaurant, crazy. now every restaurant we go to that looks a bit sus is like, now it's like crazy. Yeah. No, this shit is really planted. Like the fucking Mickey Mouse, bro, that blew my the mind. The Mickey Mouse is crazy. Like, yeah. where have we seen white gloves like that? Nowhere. I thought that's just like a regular thing, but that's like I guess they sub uh subconsciously planted that. Mm -hmm. So as we yo, so it's a joke, fam. So imagine, imagine, because Walt Disney was a known free Mason. Mason yeah. Now check this out, right? Imagine we're in this club. Imagine we, we were like a jumpers club mm. and we have certain things that we do that, that's for fun. Sickle yeah. mode button, yeah. right? Now, what if in, uh, in popular culture, we leave, oh, let's put a sickle, sickle mode effect there mm. and then we can all laugh, but nobody else will understand. Yeah. So imagine we're in the, in the Freemason club and then we see we're watching Disney movies and like, ah, look, they're wearing the gloves. Ah! Oh my. <laughs> like, yo, we got the gloves on, man. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? Yo! And then it's just us laughing. Everybody else is like, oh, yeah, yeah. whatever. Man. But us, we're laughing because we know what that shit is. Mm -hmm. No, but the fact that it's like, it's always like around. Mm -hmm. Like, remember in my basement how I said there was one there? That's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. It's lit. Like, you can look at probably the, the fucking popcorn <laughs> ceilings <laughs> makes the compass. Like, you never know nowadays. Yo, okay. Is there know, any others? There's not any others, but I want to show you this real quick. Okay. Hold on. So, because you're talking about popcorn ceilings. Yeah. Now, 
I don't know. I don't know if this is just me being me. Yeah. Or if other people too. But when you look at a popcorn ceiling. You see stars. No, can you see faces and like shapes and stuff? You're weird. You're weird. You're nah? weird. Never. It's just me? Like you can't be. Because to me, when I look at popcorn ceiling, it's like looking at the clouds. Nah, I just see. It's just dots. You see faces? Really? You can't you're see like shit? You're fucked in the head. You're fucked in the head. Are you serious? Yeah. Fam, you see No, it's like, it's like when you, you know when you look at clouds. Yeah, yeah. No, clouds is way different than popcorn ceiling. You can't, really? You can't see nothing? Nothing, nothing at all. I'm being dead serious. Okay, okay. Well, maybe it's just me. But anyways, there's this, um, mm. there's these art pieces. Yeah. Now this is, this was blowing my mind. There's these art pieces and what they are, these are like high level frequency of art yeah. that it's certain patterns and they call it like, um, sorry, uh, they call it sacred patterns mm -hmm. that you'll be able to see entities and images that nobody else can see and specific to you. What? Now check this out. I want to, I want to see what you see. Okay. Let me see. It's like that therapy shit. So what do you see? Okay, hold on. Go back to the first one. There's a lot. There's so many. For I see triangles, like a big do you see triangle. Any faces? Look, look for a face. I see a butterfly. You see a butterfly? I don't see no faces though. For me, I see- I a, see that one big face right here. That looks like a uh, pit bull. Like, you know- Every, that Well, everybody sees something different. I okay. see an owl. Do you see the owl? No. See, oh, oh, I see a kinda. tiger. I see a Oh, I see a, a panda. I see a panda. Right there, right yeah, there. Yeah, kinda, kinda. yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see the eyes here? Eye, eye, eyebrows. What? Oh, I see you that. See that? You see that? Oh. Yo, so everybody sees something different unless like you point you it point out. It, yeah. yeah, you point it out and then they can see it for themselves. Okay. Okay, let's do another one. Let's see. This one, this one's crazy. Look at this one. What do you see? I see four faces. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that too. You see the you see the the big smile? No, I don't see the smile. You don't see that big smile in the two eyes? Oh! <laughs> oh so everybody sees different things and, yeah. and it's very like, once you see it, it's so vivid. Yeah. Um, there's another one here. Now, remember when That's... I said these are like sacred patterns? Okay. What's crazy is people say a lot of the entities or the, the images they see here mm -hmm. are images that people see on DMT trips and psychedelics. <sighs> Fuck, bro. I mean, it makes sense. There's just a bunch of lines. Yeah. Oh, I see the, that one's a crazy one. I, I, nose, mouth. Mm. That crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, you never know, bro. Shit is planted everywhere. Like I tried to, after you said the, the Freemason and shit. So you know how the Freemason is known for like black and white and checkered? Yeah, yeah. You think this, they control the cinemas too? Cause the, I searched up cinema logo and it's black and white. It's, it's kind of checkered. Oh, the checkered slope? So do you think they Maybe. run the movies too? Maybe. You never know. More, more times like everything's controlled by somebody. Yeah. Oh, I think, oh, the craziest one that I, I, I found out, the cereal box theory. What's that? So you know how every cereal box has a mascot. Yeah. So the tricks one, the Cocoa Puffs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit Loops, right? Mm -hmm. And all, if you notice, if you look really close, the mascots aren't looking straight. Mm. They're all looking down, right? Why, why? So this is why. So it's known to make the the characters make direct eye contact with the kids since oh because they're, they're shorter so they're supposed to make eye contact to kind of engage them to oh, go shit. for that for that um cereal yeah 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 and if you notice uh the honey nut cheerio mm -hmm. the the one with the b yeah so the the extra sugar one has the mascot on it the one with just the cereal bowl and the strawberries yeah yeah, yeah. no mascot that's for the adults the one with no no uh, sugar mm. The yeah. adult one, they have like the heart. The heart, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but no mascot looking at them. Damn. And if you notice, the the uh, in the shelves, the bottom two are no more the uh, sugary ones. Oh, because it's easy. It's, it's easy access. Read. Oh shit! But the the top ones are like the multi grain. Like oh, shit. you're not trying to reach for that shit. To add on to that, yeah. I think that's why they add they have candy right at the front of the cashier. And low. Oh, so and if you go low. if you go to a convenience store, where do they have the candy? Oh. Super low right in front of the cashier. Yeah. Because when I I always remember when I'm with my mom or dad, they're paying for something at the convenience store. Yep. I'm out here, I'm short, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little kid and I'm looking what's right in front of me while I'm waiting, candy. And what am I gonna do? Mom, 
Can I get Yo. this? And it's right in front of me. Yeah. It's easy access, bro. And at the, the, what do you call this? The movie player in Scarborough. Yeah. So the whole thing is like this, but the candy is on the shelf very to very low. Mm. Everything's low. So uh, your mom's ordering thing. You're, you're just looking at the thing right in front of you. All the yeah. candy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> w marketing, man. W marketing. Yo, realistically, mm. if people just copy what's been used on us yeah. and put their own twist on it, mm. damn, you can probably be so successful if you use the tactics that you worked on you. What do you mean? You just there's tactics in the world that worked on us and got us to buy something. Yeah. There's a reason I bought an Apple iPhone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those tactics, if you backwards engineer it mm. and try to figure out what made you purchase it and you're a business owner yeah you'll be able to be just successful yeah that's dangerous i think to andrew tate said uh once you perfect mind control you're a superhero mm. like once you once you can uh what do you call this uh know what you're doing know your root and know what you have to do to get to that root mm. you're you're good you're good for the rest of your life what do you think is the more important mind control? What do you mean? Like the malicious one or the... Not even. What, what are you talking about? What mind do you want to control? Mm, your mind, for sure. Yeah. If you reach your higher self, like you can stop time and shit, start floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're set. Now, check this out. Yeah. What if the only way to control other people's minds is to conquer yours first? And then since everybody else having conquered their minds, you can conquer theirs. Yeah. That's facts. That's like the saying, um, what do you call this? If you chase butterflies for your whole life, they'll fly away. Mm -hmm. But if you build a beautiful garden, they'll come to you. Mm -hmm. But, and if they don't come to you, at least you have a beautiful garden. See, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, it's that's like true, you have that's yourself, true. you have your good mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's whatever if they don't come to you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. That's a bar. Well, what's the other one with with honey and, and flies? Oh, you can't catch them <laughs> if you're a fly, but you can. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a. You um, can catch honeys. You can catch flies with honey. Yeah. But I catch honeys being fly. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, going back, going back to the movie shit, I have, so I have this, like, murder mystery case. Yeah, yeah. And this case, I will never go to a movie again just because I'm hearing this shit. Bro. What happened? What happened? So it's called The Horror in Screen 9. Mm -hmm. So there's this guy, right? His name is James Holmes. Yeah. And he lived in California. And his mom and dad were, I think they were a scientist. And his mom was a doctor. So he's living good, right? Mm -hmm. But he's, since he was a kid, he's had like night terrors. And he even dreamt about killing a lot of people. Oh, for what? Yeah, like, I don't know. He just, he's just like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And then so, uh, what do you call this? At 11, I think, he even tried to kill himself. Like he tried to offer. Oh, it. fuck. Yeah. So I think when he finally got to a legal age, mm -hmm. he bought four guns. Like legally. The so they checked his background check. And they're like, oh, yeah, check off, check off. Mm -hmm. You can have these four guns, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, he dreamt to kill a lot of people. So, before uh, his big killing in the movie theater, for uh, I think a day before he planned it, he, he went and did it, he mailed his notebook to his psychiatrist. Oh. And in his notebook was his detailed plans of what he was going to do on that day. Damn. So, it was on... Uh, the Midnight of the Dark Knight Rises. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the one I'm- it's, Oh, is it I Colorado? Think, I thought it was Colorado. So on the, the Midnight of Dark Knight Rises, he was like, okay, I'm gonna go in and do this. Yeah. And two hours before, I think, he called the crisis line. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm gonna kill all these people in the theater. But you know what happened? The thing got disconnected. Why? I don't know, it just randomly got disconnected. I guess it was fate that was supposed to happen. So he went in to screening nine, number yeah, yeah, nine. Yeah. And he sat in, he scoped the area. Mm -hmm. He went back out. He went in his car, grabbed the four guns and a gas canister. Yeah. It was perfect timing too because mm -hmm. this whole thing went down while the gun, a gun scene was going on in the movie. Damn. So while it was happening, he threw the gas canister, boom, open fire, killed, I think, 10 people already. Fuck. And he, so I think it was in total, it was a packed movie. You know, The Dark Knight yeah, yeah, Rises. Yeah. 70 people got injured, fam. It was packed. Damn. Yeah. And they didn't know that it was like actual guns because they thought it was special effects. Yeah, because yo, fuck. Yeah. Yo, I have I have an add-on for that. Yeah. Th this will make it crazy. What? Ready? So there was a woman mm. that was in the theater there. Oh fuck. She didn't die. She survived the attack. Mm -hmm. A month later, she was at Toronto Eden Center. There was a shooting. 
and she died at that shooting. No. So it was almost like final destination. Like she was meant, she cheated oh, death the first time. That's scary, bro. And when she was back home in Toronto, she died from that shooting. No. You can't escape that shit? That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Holy fuck. How many times do you think we have until like, how many tries? Like who determines that, bro? Remember what I said to you? What if it's like, what if it's not even what we think it is? What if it's, a realization mm -hmm. before everyone passes away like well because we never know what's in the heads of everybody before they pass away because yeah there was some crazy shit that's like i saw about kobe bryant yeah and how he said so going back to gg mm -hmm. his death was i don't think gg talked about this but his death was predetermined with numbers you think so that? i think so he died in 41 at 41 right yeah and i think there's a stat where every one of his uh, records at the were broken through a free throw mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. so this this pattern kept going on kept going on and i think at the his 81 when he scored that um on his last game yeah, yeah. where he he shot before he shot the free throw there was like 41 on a shot clock or there was something oh, in the numbers shit. yeah and uh on that day on that day he had like a big game breaking record yeah. if you add all the numbers up like 2008 something something like that mm -hmm. it added up to 41 damn yeah it's just crazy to think because you hear these conspiracy theories all the time obviously yeah. like not disrespecting any celebrity oh, death yeah, but, for sure. but if you think about it let's say a celebrity passes away mm. that's all the news is going to talk about yeah so the theory is what if certain tragedies happen and because of a death a, a famous celebrity yeah all the news is covering on that rather than what's going on and all the other stuff is like nobody's talking about yeah and kind of gets swept under the rug yeah that's fucked bro because during kobe's death they could have just pulled something out their ass like the government could have did whatever because mm -hmm. we're not talking we're not looking at that because if you think about it what's crazy a lot of these let's say even these murders that happen in the world we don't hear about it until way way later when people dissect it then mm -hmm. but when it actually happens on that date it's never really news because there's other shit going on yeah right Unless it's like a, a super famous murder, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. You, nobody's really dissecting I, it like that. Yeah, I know. Damn, bro. That's why a million murders happen every day, bro. Yeah, I think that's in, um, that's, <clears throat> that's in GTA San Andreas. They said that shit. Oh, yeah? <laughs> GTA, man. <laughs> what was it again? It's like people get shot every day, B. Yeah. But you'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's <laughs> Tell them that theory about the the GTA though, if you if you want to say it. What would, what would GTA the be? The GTA, how they're they're. No, that's sad, fam. I don't yeah. want to talk about Why? that stuff. But it's a good debate, though. All right, okay. I want I want to hear everybody tap into the comments because. Yeah. So it's a story. I was I was with my cousins and my dad, and we we're playing video games. Yeah. Me and my cousin were playing Far Cry. It's like a shooting game, if you guys don't know. And um, I had to go do something, so I put on a game for my little cousin. He still wanted to play, and I put on GTA. So my dad's in the room. I let my cousin, my little cousin play and I just dip. So on the drive to, I think we went out to eat. Yeah. My dad was talking to me and he said, you know, GTA and that game you let him play. That's the type of stuff that brainwashes kids to do mass murders, mm -hmm. to do crime. And if you really think about it, and I, this is my debate. I'm like, yo, it's just a video game. That's why I said, yeah. it's, it's just a video game. Look, we watch violent movies all the time. That's what I told my dad. And my dad said, no, because the video game, you're the person doing it. When we watch a violent movie, watch a Tarantino movie, you're the audience and you see what unfolds. Mm -hmm. But when you're playing these violent video games, POV. you're training yourself and preparing yourself and skill, making yourself more skillful yeah. to rob banks, <clears throat> to kill civilians to whatever yeah. and i mean shoot at cops or whatever mm -hmm. and that kind of blew my mind because he kind of did have a point yeah. i'm not saying i don't enjoy video games myself because i do love video games yeah, you I, probably played gta i play a hella gta yeah you know I me mean? but now that i think about it more do you think there's a chance theory mm -hmm. that a lot of the crime that happens in the world might have been influenced by gta because listen uh -huh. do you think gta 5 coming out cause the spike in crime did it actually like there's you statistics? think you think so i don't have no statistics to back it up i'm just speaking on my ass right here but like 
Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. That all of that stuff is in your head, and you kind of want to. If you're playing in in the game, you kind of think about it even after you play. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say it, was, it caused the biggest spike, but I feel like it caused some maybe like. Five, ten people, you know, like a small percentage. No, hundred percent, it like influence people. Hundred percent, it influence people. Yeah, I think it also just encourages like pedophilia and shit like that. Wait, why? Because I think um, there's one mission that I that people on TikTok really remember. It's the paparazzi one. So, uh, the whole point of the mission is some guy and some girl are fucking on the terrace. Yeah, and you have oh yeah, to, take a pic. You literally have to video the whole thing. Mm. And you know, like the strip clubs, like if you're if you're 14 or like you're 9 to 10 playing that and you want to go straight to this show because you've never seen some shit like that before in your head mm. well now you're from a, a young age you're addicted to that then it gets worse progressively worse every year because yeah. now you go from gta to actual porn to to yeah, whatever yeah, yeah i agree yeah i i agree but i think that's why we do have the the age thing but, but it's not really enforced, it's yo. Not, it's not really bro. enforced because kids still play GTA. Because I let my yeah. my my cousin play GTA. Like you can get your older cousin to get it for you and play like that. Yeah, I know. Not a lot. I know. That's why it's kind of like it really changed my mind. Because I grew up playing a lot of violent video games. Mm -hmm. GTA. I played like all the GTAs growing yeah. up. And fam, I'm not gonna lie. Now they think about it more. If you are the person playing and you're living, you're living vicariously into that character, doing all those crimes. That's kind of like you training yourself. Yeah. It's fucked. Like you dead ass. Like if you're put in that position, you already know what to do. And then here's where it gets crazier. Because we put on the VR and then there's no there's no difference. It's like almost like I'm doing the same motions that I would do to like pull out a gun. Yeah. That's and going, crazy. Yeah. And going back to the age restriction, like if the government really cared about the, like all the mass murders, then they would actually like strict down on that age thing. Like I know, I know. But, but it, you see it in um, uh, purchasing beer. Yeah. You know, you can you can get your older cousin to go in there buy you a beer and you can have it like mm -hmm. if, but if but it's still very illegal. It's still very illegal. Yeah. Cuz there's charges, but yeah. video games is not like that. Yeah, but why do you think they encourage like why don't why don't you think they they like put actual security down? Oh, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do this because they don't care. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's what fuels them. Yeah. But yo, y'all tap in in the comments cuz I really want to see your opinion mm -hmm. on it cuz me myself I'm I love video games and yeah. I I don't I wanted to defend it. But that kind of did change my mind about it. I'm like, yeah. fuck, maybe maybe there's a point there. Yeah. Maybe maybe seeing that and training yourself all the time like that, mm -hmm. it does have an, a mental effect on you. Yeah. Because I watch a lot of violent movies, but now that I think about when I'm watching the violent movies, I am just like an audience. Yeah, and you don't really feel like, um, I'm going to go out there and do yeah, myself. You, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But when you're playing it, fuck, bro. Yeah. And bro, when it gets to the point that, okay, here's the debate though. Okay. On the other side, do you think being able to play these games give an outlet that you get those urges out of you? Nah. You think it worsens it? I don't think you so, You think it bro. worsens it? Because that, that's a debate somebody would have. Really? I don't think that shit's therapy, dog. Like, mm. I don't think killing people is therapy. Like, like in a game, yeah, yeah, in yeah. In a game, that's not, that's not right. Because you're, yeah, that's not right. I know, bro, but it's like so common. It's so common. So common. Do you think there's going to be a change coming? I don't think people are really talking. I feel like I feel like this conversation might be the only conversation that that oh, ever I? like touched the internet about <laughs> that. That's kind of no, crazy on that. Because if GTA, literally, people are waiting for new GTAs every single year. Yeah, like, like shit will not change. Now you have Twitch, uh, the number one game on there. Holy is, shit! Is, is GTA. GTA RP? Yo, role play. so role play. Yo. So literally, you have guys in the suburbs going in. That's and, crazy. And doing all these like living the life. Yeah, of, they're like, actually doing it. They're yeah, actually doing of it. Criminals. And so now you're role playing. So now so all it's you even know. More. So so imagine. Remember the guys like, oh, the speed goes to bed thinking speed thoughts. Mm. So speed like uh, Daryl or whatever his real name is. He's not Daryl no more. He's speed. <laughs> so imagine you're on GTA role yeah. play for so long. You become that person. You're not, I'm not Gavin no more. I'm Briggs or whatever they call so, me in the streets in in GTA. Mm. You feel? Oh my Damn. God! Briggs with a B, a big, big G, a big G, Griggs. That's Griggs. why. <laughs> Briggs with big, with a capital G. <laughs> and I have the Glock tattoo. That's yo, I was telling Gavin. Yo, yo, uh, um, 100k, 100k likes. Gavin will get a tattoo. Oh. I told him to get the Glock logo, but instead of saying Glock, it says Gavin. <laughs> 100k likes on this on this episode. 100k likes. 
We'll get it. If we'll get it for Nah, if you guys actually hit 100k, I low key might get it because that's impossible. <laughs> It'll get 100k likes. No, more. 100k likes. We'll get him that Glock tattoo that says Gavin. <laughs> send it to all your friends. Send it to all your family. That's let's get him that tattoo. Yo, that says like it does not match me at all. Like <laughs> if I was gonna get a tattoo <laughs> of anything, that's the one that that like what the it's a what the fuck moment. Yo, you know what's so a joke though? Because yeah. it's like. It, it, it's corny and it's so funny, but it's actually hard at the same time. It's, it's, it's tough. still tough. It's, it's tough. still tough. So, yo, 100k likes, please, bro, please. <laughs> Let's get him that tattoo, please. No, <laughs> That's a, This is the first time I really want that many likes, yo. Like, 100, please, bro. Let, let's get him that tattoo. Wait, wait, where's the placement? Where's the placement? You have to get on, like, your chest. Bro. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Big Gavin tattoo right here. Okay, on your leg. The, your leg's not that bad. Okay, yeah, my leg's not that bad. That's realistic. Realistic, yeah. get on your leg. Yeah, it's okay, but y'all not gonna get 100. The Glock look with Gavin. 100K Yo. likes. That's like a Mr. Beast video. Mr. Beast doesn't even get 100K. Uh, I hope so. Well, we'll see, fam. We'll see. It may, maybe in like, maybe it'll take longer, yeah. but if it does hit 100K, you have to get it. Yeah, that's like a, that's, that has like a frat pledge, like shit that you do. And <laughs> like my, like the burning thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my, my friend who was in a frat, he mm -hmm. said he quit that frat after he heard, um, uh, there was a guy because it was a recent thing that happened in 2001. Yeah, there was a guy who literally was um, uh, forced to do this pledge, right? And the pledge was you gotta drink uh, like two gallons of vodka. Damn, so you drink, can die from that shit. And that's what happened. Oh, or that's what almost happened. Yeah. So literally, there was on CCTV. They literally have evidence of his all the frat boys carrying him wow. unconscious down the stairs, put him on the sofa. Bro, he woke up. He slept off the couch. Yeah, I think he went into um, he went into cardiac arrest, and all his boys picked him up. Went to instead of calling the fucking ambulance. Yeah, yeah. They drove him to the hospital. They they uh, he got resuscitation. He woke up. He survived though. Yeah, he survived. But he needed to be put on crutches, Fuck. stitches, because also part of the pledge, he said he was forced to jump in a, a dumpster full of broken glass. What the. Why? This is all a pledge, fam. And he and he told them the media. He said, two days before I did this pledge, I, I called my family. I called my sister because I was so stressed out. Yeah. But he did this because I I guess there was like um he didn't feel like he belonged anywhere and he wanted to take this pledge. Damn, bro. And now for the rest of his life, fam, he's put on uh urgent care. Like he has to be Fuck taken care that of. Shit, bro. So don't be stupid, guys. Like yeah, yo, you don't have to do dangerous shit to be cool. Yeah. Don't ever do dangerous shit just to impress somebody, just to make yourself look cool. Yeah. You can be cool in your own way, fam. Facts. And honestly. The coolest people in the world, the coolest people in the world, they're cool for weird things rather than the things that, oh, that makes you manly. Yeah. Real shit. You can tell. You can definitely tell, like, a person walking down the street who's fully confident. You can't fake confidence. Mm -hmm. And, like, oh, in the UFC, when... um. I think it's John Bones Jones. When he walks in, he does this gorilla crawl. Oh, he does a spider. The yeah, spider. Oh, yeah, yeah like Anderson Silva. Yeah, 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 Anderson Silva. And he was talking in one of his fights that a guy, he tried to come in oh, banging on his chest. Yeah. But he knew that he knew that's, fake, fake. that's fake confidence, bro. You can't fake confidence. Mm -hmm. If you're really secure with yourself, you will never need anyone else in this life. Yeah, that's facts. Like, even if like you want to fit into a certain group, yeah. just reevaluate re real quick. Yeah. Like, before... <laughs> Yo, let's say all your friends are jumping off the cliff. Before you jump off the cliff too, just reevaluate. Like, like take a second, be like, yo, what am I really doing out facts, here? Facts, facts. <laughs> if the group, if the group leader tells you, you got to do it. I'm just kidding. I will end it there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumpers Jump Podcast. Mm -hmm. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Hold on, one quick announcement. Mm -hmm. I'm back on Twitch. I'm back making content on my other channel, Carlos Vico. So go check that out. Yep. Follow us both on Instagram. You guys will get updates there. Yes, sir. And make sure to download all these spot, all these episodes on Spotify, Apple, all the downloading platforms. If you're going to work, you're driving, might as well download them. Listen to us on the road. Yeah, so that's it. Yep. A lot more content coming. Facts. Guests are coming soon too. Lock in so with us. So stay tuned. Hit that like button. Jumpers jump out. Deuces.